Good morning and welcome back to our journey to 2000. Let's play some chess, 50 minutes, 10 seconds increments. Here we go. And let's see who we are playing today. There we go, white pieces against Fabiano Caranate. Oh boy, if that's family from Fabiano Caruana. I am toasted here. Now I have my new computer mouse, looks like it's working. Um, that's a free pawn, so I will take a free pawn. Um, and uh, we can retreat. I like retreating. Um, yeah, I don't like my knight on an uh, awkward square like that. So let's just go back, finish our developments. There we go. And uh, he's going for the battery. He's going for the battery. But I have this move, the forking, right? Getting one of the pieces. There we go. And then I can castle. Yeah, I don't have to lose my light squad bishop. Yep, so we take. Uh, I'm briefly considering this move, but that's stupid. We just take knight takes. I think we just castle, although this is a move, but he's putting some pressure here. Huh? And if I castle, maybe the queen will swing over. But then I can play that. Um, so I think we are fine. Yeah. Yeah, I think we can just play here. Now the knight has to go. Please go there so I can play here, double attack. Please go there. Looks natural. To the center. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, although this looks more natural. Also defends the pawn. But my next move is going to be d4 anyway, I think. That's a good move, it's a good move. Okay, let's, do we play d4? Let's play d4, open up the bishop. Queen steps out of any shenanigans. Let's play here. And let's uh, threaten some stuff over there. Let's get the knight out. Uh, yep. Put more pressure on that pawn. Maybe the queen here, putting more pressure. There comes the knight. Um, what happens if I take? Queen can't take. The pawn will take. Um, I can go here. Make a simple threat. And if he takes, we just take back. That's nothing special. Let's do that. This is a serious threat. I can even maybe 
on takes I can just uh, let it go and just go here pick up the rook something we need to consider of course he can also now on takes we just go here good What is he going to do? Stuff spot already. <clears throat> okay, he develops the knight. Um, I can still go here. Threaten the rook. Maybe the rook goes there. That pawn is defended by the queen. Eh? What about this takes? Um, Or this one just go for it I don't see a move after this one I can take another pawn but uh, I kind of want to take this pawn yeah let's take this pawn now the knight is hanging He could take and on that move I probably will take back it's just a matter of uh, how do we take back how do we take back we can take with the pawn probably that's best and he still has to do something with this one let's go ahead let's take keep this pressurized So he takes, now I can take again, I can also take here, threaten the rook, and then if the rook goes there, I could go here, pick up a lot of ports. Um, Yeah, I think I will do that. I'm, I mean, I'm winning two pawns, eh? Um, here, here. Uh, yeah, here. Do need to be a little bit careful about rook infiltrations, but now this is pretty nice. I could also go for this pawn, give me an outside pass pawn. Hmm. What's more important? Ah, that's a clever move. That's a clever move. I almost wanted to take that pawn. But I do have check. No, that's not a good move. The check is not good. But what if I take this pawn with the bishop? Or I go here and lose my rook in one move. That's also an option. Hmm. That's a funny move. That's a funny, funny move. I want to take. Uh, 
and then uh, well, then I have all sorts of threads, right? Yeah, and if the if he takes my bishop with the knight, then the rook is hanging. Yep. Now this is a threat, although, yeah, it is actually. This is also a pretty annoying check. You have to go here. I don't see mate. Ah, that disconnects the uh, this one. So I can just go check now. Or with the bishop. Which one do we do? I kind of want to go here, check. Um. I'm not sure if that is the best move. Uh, this one is also nice. Check. pretty okay kind of want to go here and then maybe I don't know I want to bring my rook I want to bring my bishop um, I want to do all sorts of things I really can't tell the difference between those moves. Um, I think I'm going to check and then back. I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, check. And then just back. Now we can't castle. You can't castle. And that's a good thing. So there he goes. So now we just bring the bishop back. Yeah, let's bring the bishop back. Let's be safe. It's okay to waste the move on that. My queen has retreating squares. We are up three pawns. That's kind of big. And we have all sorts of discoveries. Um, that's a move, but then I will just take a pawn. Need to put bishop out. Unfortunately, I don't have a diagonal. Okay, he goes with the queen, putting pressure there. Um, that pawn is not really a problem. But now I can develop my rook here. And the nice thing about that is that I'm threatening to actually take Is he intending to go there? I don't think that's a, a wonderful move. Let's actually go here. 
this is a major threat. He can grab a pawn. He can take this pawn. But I think taking those are greedy. But this is a uh, this is a. Uh, see how he handles that. that move uh, I will grab the pawn that's a smart move that's that's actually a smart move because um, no it isn't I can still take the knight I can still take the knight because on takes I have takes Or does he has this move then? No, then I take the pawn. Yeah. And I can also take the bishop, get two pieces for the... Uh, for the rook. Yep, so I go here, take that pawn. Now this is a threat. I can also take the bishop. It's a very nice try. And he resigns. Yeah, he's losing all the material. Right, well, my new computer mouse is uh, doing wonders. Uh, let me go to the analysis. All right, we played with 92.7 against 75.6. Um, pretty decent, pretty decent. So yeah, he blunders the center pawn. And uh, I just go back. It's probably, uh, I think computer just says, so yeah, I just, Continue developments. Oh, you can also play d4 to protect the knight. It was something I was thinking about a little bit later, but I don't like my knight here. It's offside. It's not, I don't like it there. I just don't like it. Let's play solids. So there, yep. Cutting the light squared bishop. There we go. We castles. Yeah, I have a, a wonderful position here. That's the best move. I was hoping for this. This works, right? Yeah, it's a double attack. Yeah, of course it works. Yeah. He didn't fall for that. Cheap tricks. Okay. That's not the move. You moved quickly and left your pawn hanging. You ignored an opportunity to eventually win a pawn. Um, should I have been taking that pawn and then develop the knight? I guess so, huh? No, queen b3. Oh, immediately go after this one. Immediately. Don't waste time developing your knight and stuff. Just go there. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, the bishop was best. That's also best. Okay. Yep. And uh, yeah, there's nothing to do here. Computer does say b6, just take. But then you have to play this position. This is uh, horrible. Horrible. You are down for bishop. And uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four pawns. Yeah, that's that's not that's not good. That's not good. Well, that was a funny game. Well, that, that went really fast. That, that gives me time actually to uh, uh, show you the game I played uh, last week. Uh, I played a, I played a very sharp uh, ready. Just one second. That that was just an awesome game. That was really awesome. So this is the game, um, and yeah, it's it's one of my best games in a long time, I think, uh, and against a strong opponent. Um, we played with 93.3% accuracy, that's pretty decent, against 82.5% from our opponents. Um, and this was on lead chess, and um, I removed the names for uh, to be a little bit more anonymous. Uh, and we had a rating of 80, 83 against 80, 56. And it was a rapid game, 10 minutes with 10 seconds increments. Um, and yeah, this was uh, this was the Reti. Um, so I go for the normal stuff with the V and Keto. And he brings the bishop out. And everything looks normal. I go for the standard uh, c4 break. He doesn't take. He keeps attention. Now I play d4 with tempo on the bishop. Bishop goes back, get the knight out, normal developments. And we get in a Catalan type of structure. Um, I think I've seen this in one of the courses. Um, and I think one of the ideas is uh, just to bring the rook. Um, that bishop usually goes there, but not in all, not all the times. Sometimes it goes there, depending on what happens. And I try to play for e4. That's my plan. So I bring the rook. And now I'm ready to play e4, I think. But he is faster with the pawn break, so I take. It's not the best move. It's not a perfect game. Um, so we exchange a couple of pieces. Now I develop the bishop. He centralizes the rook. And I took a pawn. Uh, I mean, why not? Um, it leaves him with an isolated pawn. Although my queen is uh, Lucy, but um, yeah, I have uh, I have enough on the pawn. But he takes my knight first, and now I have an option: do I take with the bishop or with the queen? Um, I decided to go with the queen um, because I thought, well, on that move, I don't know. It it feels yeah. Uh, you can even take with the knight, eh? gain a tempo on the bishop but the problem is that my i'm putting myself in an annoying pin um so i took with the queen it does allow rook infiltration uh which he did he did play that move but we both uh, take a pawn so uh, i took that one and we can get rid of the rook it's not the end of the world um he doesn't recapture the pawn um, instead, he makes a very annoying threat. I had to deal with that. Not easy. Um, so it took me a while here to figure this out. But I uh, played um, this move. For a second, it looks like I'm hanging a, a bishop. But that's not the case. Um, apparently, I have uh, a quick checkmate here. But what I calculated was uh, takes, takes, and then checkmate. But uh, that line is not forced. He doesn't have to retake the queen. He can fix his back rank issues. Better was to go there right away. This is uh, force mate. So my bishop is safe. Um, and if he takes, then uh, I take back. I have a nice centralized bishop. 
and I'm still up a pawn. So that's a good thing. So he develops the bishop, take care of his uh, background issues. Now I exchange queens and I take the knight because my bishop was hanging. And now we have reached this position with uh, the beautiful pawn structure of uh, my opponents. And uh, we are having an extra pawn. Now that's very, very nice. Now this was tough for me to evaluate um, because I can take the pawn or I push by. And yeah, I don't even know what's the best computer likes it's a free pawn it's supported by the bishop makes sense and the promotion square is on a different color than my opponent's bishop so this makes sense uh, what i had in mind i pushed by in the game uh, because i was relying on this move here um, so he can't really blockade with uh, with uh, with the rook here he blocks with the bishop but this is what I had calculated in the game. So I give a check. And now the first brilliant move, we can just uh, take that pawn. Because if bishop takes bishop, we take the rook. And you can't take back because of uh, promotion. Um, so here it became a little bit wild. Uh, instead of taking my bishop, he took my pawn in the corner. Um, so I take the rook. And he can't take my rook because uh, the bishop is hanging. And uh, if he takes my bishop, then uh, then I take the rook. So he gives a check. Uh, only move. Now he recaptures my bishop with check. Nice move. I block. And now we are up the exchange. And we still have uh, that annoying pawn. He goes rook behind the pawn. I defend the pawn and now he makes this uh, annoying threat. I can defend and go passive, but I didn't want to go passive. Uh, I want to be active. I just needed to make sure that I'm not running into some sort of a checkmate or uh, stuff like that. Um, because this is my golden ticket, that passed pawn. So, uh, I go there, attack the bishop, simultaneously defending the pawn. He takes, I go there, and there are no more checks. And uh, he needs to uh, use a tempo to uh, save the bishop. He attacks my rook. And now I sacrifice the rook with check of course he can't take because if he takes i promote with uh, check um and that's actually pretty cool everything is hanging but uh yeah that's uh that was a pretty uh, pretty cool move so he goes there uh, but my rook is poisoned he can he, he still can't take my rook so i just give another check and drive the king away and now the bishop is no longer looking at the uh, promotion square um, so I bring my rook to the last rank, preparing le promotion. Uh, and this is, uh, this is a toughie because I'm threatening now to take the bishop and uh, promote. So he goes for some checks. I go here. He gives another check. Now I, there's only one move for me. I can't go there. That's losing the game. So I go here and there are no more checks. Um, and there are actually a couple of threats. I'm threatening now to take the bishop, removing the defender of the rook. And um, he steps aside with the king um, to make sure that the bishop is uh, covering that. But he forgot that my rook was uh, pressuring the bishop. So I took the bishop and here he uh, resigned. Yeah, this is a, this is a tough spot. Um, this is very tough. And that was the game. And uh, yeah, 
I think it was a very nice game. I hope we will get more games like this. Uh, this is how I want the red tea to go in the most ideal scenario. I don't think we will get that every time on the board. There are some some mistakes I made here, so it's interesting to analyze it in more depth. A lot of uh, pawn breaks. Um, but I think overall uh, we did an okay job here and uh, became a little bit sharp here and yeah this was this was the move I didn't even analyze it properly I think um, rook d6 yeah yep 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 and uh, but the bishop is covering this square which is annoying so i i don't have ideas like that um but anyway that's uh that's for me to find out offline i just wanted to show you this one i think this one was uh, beautiful and uh, the opponent was strong so uh, that was uh, that was a nice one all right i hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and um, I want to thank you for watching please like subscribe leave a comment I would always appreciate it and I hope I will see you back tomorrow for a new game goodbye